So I stupidly waited till after my salon appointment on Saturday to film this video because like I was too lazy to do my own hair. That was so dumb because my bangs always look ridiculous the first day that I get my hair cut. So this is what it looks like, folks. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be sharing my monthly favorites for the month of July. Now you might be wondering, Emily, you did an April favorites, you did a May favorites, you do a July favorites, what happened to June? And I'll tell you what happened. June was just like not a really great month for me and if I filmed a favorites video for June, my only favorite thing that I would have to share with you guys would have been 10 milligrams of Lexapro daily. But enough about me, I have a hodgepodge of things to share with you guys, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the lip color that I'm wearing today. I've actually worn this lip color in a lot of my recent videos. I love this. I've actually been using it for years, probably since like 2016. It is the NYX or like the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and the color name is Copenhagen. I just have been obsessed with this color for years. In 2016, like the whole burgundy lip was like a really big thing. So I saw this at Ulta and I was like, oh cool, like burgundy, I'm gonna pick it up. It's not burgundy at all, as you can tell on my lips, it's like a kind of like berry pinkish red color. It's an awesome color if you're kind of into the red lipstick look, but you're not like ready to go full Taylor Swift with it yet. It's also just like super soft, super easy to apply. It doesn't dry out your lips at all. And I think it's still under $10. Like it's such a great deal. It's really pretty. I love this line of lip creams and this color especially just has my heart. Moving on to something a little weird. It's a pair of tweezers that I got from Tweezer Man. They're just this little pink like tweezers. Y'all, I underestimated how important a good sharp set of tweezers is. I'm gonna be real with you guys about something I'm super insecure about. On my little freckle mole here, I get one black hair. It's so annoying, it's so dark. It's like, I don't, my the hair on my body is not dark. My leg hair is not dark. My little fuzzies on my arms are not dark. My eyebrows aren't dark. But this one hair that grows on my little chinny chin chin at my cheek, whatever, is blacker than black and so annoying and so frustrating to try to get rid of. I had a pair of tweezers that I've had for years and years and years and that's always been my go-to to just like pluck it out but the tweezers sucked and I would sometimes give myself like cuts and stuff because I would get my skin. So finally I was like, this has got to end. I picked up these tweezers. I got them from Amazon. I think they were around $20 and oh, lifesaver. I go weeks without my little friend popping through again. Just amazing and so great for my eyebrows too. Y'all, if you don't have a good set of tweezers, if you're dumb like me, get a good set of tweezers. It's gonna change your life. Probably. I know I got a lot of views and a couple, like, a handful of new subscribers from when I put up my Peloton video a few weeks ago. So I thought I would share some, like, Peloton must-haves. If that is not your cup of tea, just skip ahead. I promise we'll get back to the good stuff in a second. But for all of you who did come here for my Peloton content, this works for you. Now, I don't know what some people are talking about when they say they love their Peloton shoes. I did not. I found them uncomfortable my toes would go numb I don't know if it was the wrong size or whatever and I could never figure out how to clip them like it had like that roller skate clip and I always needed John to do it for me like I could not do it myself so I had to get new cycling shoes and I went with the Nike super reps in this super cute like cheetah print lime green Nike kind of adorable -ness. These are actually the shoes that Leanne, I don't know how to say her last name, Leanne Hainsby wore on the Spice Girls ride that she did earlier this month. I did not buy them because of that, but they did come the day that I was riding that ride. So my first ride with these was that ride and we were both wearing the shoes and I felt really cool. These are just so much lighter and breathable. It's got all this mesh in here. There's so much more room to wiggle your toes. The straps are Velcro. So I don't need any assistance getting them on because apparently I'm a child who can't put on her own shoes. The clips, the cleats that it comes with are not the Peloton cleats. So I did take these off of my Peloton shoes and put them on here. It was really easy. It took like five minutes. I would recommend, especially if you're a wide foot like me, 
go a full size up. If you have regular size feet, go up half a size. If you have wide feet like I do, go up a full size and you'll just, you're gonna be so amazed at how much better your rides are and how much cuter you feel on your rides as well. <sighs> All right, y'all know here on my channel how much I despise my thin hair. And something that goes along with that is thin, wispy little pieces that when I have it up, stick to my face and stick to my skin and my glasses and when I'm working out when I get sweaty I cannot stand that feeling of my hair sticking to my skin so I always need to have some sort of like headband sweatband on when I'm exercising I found the best ones in the entire world the brand is called junk brand they are not junk they're amazing these headbands they're so cute I've got a couple of them somewhere in the wash right now because they are machine washable and you can put them in the dryer they are like amazingly thin and lightweight, so they don't like dig into your head and give you a headache, but they absorb so much. Look, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I am a sweaty, sweaty fucking person. That's why my fan is always on and you can always hear the background noise. I get really sweaty, especially when I'm like actively working out. It helps with, you know, not washing my hair every single day because I try to wash my hair like at least like two days every other day something like that but when i work out and you get all the sweat in your hair you feel gross this absorbs so much of it i just have to do a quick little blow dry dry shampoo and i'm good to go i've never had a headband do as well as these do i think they're like 15 dollars. you can get them on the junk brand website you can also get them on amazon they're just so great for working out and just keeping your hair out of your face. I just, I, I cannot recommend these enough. All right, next up is this thing, which John so lovingly called an aggressive looking dildo. It's not, not wrong. This is a three barrel hair curler. Has truly changed my hair game. It really has. I used this in my last video. If you guys were noticing how cute and wavy my hair looked in the last video, it was because of this thing. That was the first time I ever tried it. This is not plugged in right now, so it's not gonna do anything, but basically it opens up like a regular curl. It's got like the clip or whatever, and you take a section of your hair and you hold it for, you know, 15, 20 seconds, and then you unclip and you just move it down, clip, and it creates these waves in your hair. So instead of being a spiral curl like this, it just waves down. So freaking cute. Like I don't know why I was sleeping on the three barrel curler for so long. I think cause it really is scary looking. It's like, that's a lot. And that's a lot of like surface area of like heat. I don't know about you guys, but I get really scared every time I use my heat tools because like I'm just afraid I'm gonna drop it in my lap and then I'm gonna die or like I'm gonna drop it on one of the cats or something. I'm not even speaking that into the universe. But once you actually use it, it's really not that intimidating. And even my hair is not that long and it's still like, it's so easy to use. I'm feeling like I probably should have used it and that would have like been a better, you know, way to explain how good it is. But just go watch my last video and look at how cute my hair looks in that video. And then you'll see that you also need one of these three barrel curlers. This is again, super inexpensive. I got it off Amazon maybe 25 bucks, something like that, maybe 30. It's just super cute, it works great. I would just be careful, it gets really, really, really hot. You don't need to have the temperature as hot as you would for a regular curling iron because you're clamping your hair in it. I made that mistake the first time I used it and I, there just like, there was a lot going on and I smelled like burnt hair for like a day. I really thought I was gonna be like that video of that girl who's doing a, a curl. And then she lets go and her hair is still wrapped around the, the wand. That's, I thought my hair was gonna come out in this thing, but it didn't. I did good. And you guys, you guys will good, do good too. I promise. Don't burn your hair off and blame me. Okay, thanks, bye. And I'm gonna end this video with my handbag of the month. I feel like you guys already know it hasn't changed from the last time I said this. It's my Gucci Marmont camera case bag and I have no regrets about it. It's just the perfect summer bag. It goes with all of my summer outfits. It's so cute. I legitimately haven't even like switched my stuff out of this bag in so long. I, I, I'm I sitting here like I'm trying to think the last time I used a different bag other than this one. I genuinely cannot remember the last time I used a bag that was not this bag. It's just the perfect pink, blushy, nude, gold, amazing, gorgeous, Gucci bag. 
don't know why you people watch my videos. I really don't. And that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for being here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring my bell. I would love to have you back here in the She Shack. And that is it for today. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!